Here's the latest from Broadcast News. I'm Terry Bedwell. These are the moments that Germans thought to be impossible. It's midnight in Berlin, and the two Germanys are one. What you're hearing is the huge party that's now underway in Berlin. Searchlights are sweeping the sky, church bells are pealing, an orchestra is about to celebrate with Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Thousands have turned out for the historic tour, and not all of them are filled with joy. Ride police are gearing up for the trouble from rightists and leftists, radicals who've threatened demonstrations. What you're hearing now is the countdown to one Germany. As the historic moment of unification of the two Germanys drew closer today, Germans celebrated in West Berlin in front of the Reichstag, the historic house of parliament from which Adolf Hitler ruled. Under a full moon, the imposing building, the former seat of the German government, is lit up in the night. Black, red, and gold flags flutter from the roof. Search beams rise from behind the building. Germans are gathering for an all-night party with music, fireworks, and patriotic speeches. Germans interviewed here say they have mixed feelings about unity. Some say they are proud. Others say they are uncertain about the future. But most say that Germany now is a changed country from 45 years ago when it was divided. And that Germans now will work for peace and never again for war. Joan Kirkwood, ABC News, West Berlin. In other news tonight, cable TV bills could soon rise again. The Copyright Board of Ottawa says cable companies must pay $50 million a year in copyright fees. Now it's up to the CRTC to determine how much any cable company can raise its rates. Some companies may not be able to charge any more at all. The industry is under fire from consumers groups for raising fees while earning high profits. If you won't, we will. That's the threat from the Liberals in the Senate to the Mulroney government. They say they'll take their case to the Supreme Court if the government won't. The Liberals want the court to decide if the Queen could constitutionally add eight seats to the upper chamber. The New Democrats say they'll decide as early as tomorrow whether to file suit as well. The squadron of fighter, uh, Canadian fighters is sending to uh, reinforce the blockade against Iraq will be based in the Persian Gulf Sheikdom of Qatar. It was two weeks ago that the federal government announced a squadron of CF-18s would be sent from West Germany to provide air cover for the two destroyers and the supply ship just now on station in the Gulf. But there were problems finding a base for the jets. Logistics, politics, and the massive influx of military hardware into the region since Iraq invaded neighboring Kuwait on August the 2nd. Space has now been secured in Qatar, which juts out into the middle of the Persian Gulf from Saudi Arabia. However, no date's been set for the aircraft's deployment. The location is next door to the island emirate of Bahrain, where the three Canadian warships are based. Norman Jack in Ottawa. A U.S. aircraft carrier is showing the flag inside the Persian Gulf. It's the first time in this crisis that the Americans have moved in such a potential symbol of strength. The Pentagon says the USS Independence entered the relatively narrow waterway last night. A spokesman says the Independence will be a visible demonstration of American capabilities. And Colombian police now say they're not sure if it was an accident or a bomb. A blast ripped apart a secret cocaine lab in Medellin, killing at least eight people and injuring as many as 50. Police and firefighters are searching for evidence of a bomb, but they say the chemicals used in cocaine refining could have accidentally exploded. This is Broadcast News. In sports, the Toronto Blue Jays will need some help from the Chicago White Sox tonight if they hope to keep their slim pennant hopes alive. A victory by Boston over Chicago will give the Red Sox the pennant in the American League East. A loss by the Jays to the Baltimore Orioles would also do in Toronto. The St. Louis Blues have assigned defenseman Gordy Roberts to Peoria of the International League. Roberts is an 11-year veteran who's been with the Blues for just over two seasons. Customs officials say the smuggling of anabolic steroids from the Soviet Union through Finland has increased significantly during the last few years. Sports officials plan to set up a telephone hotline for Finnish athletes in an attempt to stop the illegal trade. In the latest case, police found 60,000 pills on a yacht in Helsinki on Sunday. And Deion Sanders might get his chance to play football and baseball in the same city. Sanders, a cornerback with the Atlanta Falcons, has rejected a waiver claim by the Chicago White Sox. That's the latest from Broadcast News.
I'm Terry Penwell. John Lennon on CKBC and just like starting over. Pizza Delight, Pizza Delight, nobody loves you better. Pizza Delight means Caesar salad, panzerotti, lasagna, spaghetti, donairs, pizza, and much more. If this makes you hungry, why not go to Pizza Delight right now because they have much more on their menu. Pizza Delight, 980 St. Peter Avenue. Drop by Pizza Delight today, 980 St. Peter Avenue. AR Menzies and Sons Limited is pleased to announce they are extending their prosthetic, orthotic, and pedorthic services to the area with a clinic to be held Thursday, October 4th. They specialize in the fitting of artificial limbs, custom bracing, custom foot inserts, and orthopedic footwear. They are the only company with fully accredited and nationally recognized professionals offering these services to the general public in the area. AR Menzies and Sons will be holding a clinic on Thursday, October 4th. For an appointment or more information, call 1-800-663-3030. That's 1-800-663-3030. Today is auction day at W.J. Canton Company Main Street downtown. Today at 150 Main Street store, everything must clear. Stop by to view the merchandise and register for the auction. Be there early, bid often, totally unreserved. During the public auction, everything will be sold regardless of loss. Stone fixtures, hardware items, electrical supplies, brick, cement, office supplies and equipment, everything must be cleared. Cash or certified check only. That's an auction day today at W.J. Kent, 150 Main Street Store. How you doing out there? This is Dan LaCroix taking you right through the midnight hour and through the next hour with the sounds of rock. And then at 9, it's time for country. Right now, though, we have the sounds of the satellites, Canadian sounds, and uh, give me a little sign on the charts this week. Kim Mitchell on CKBC, Expedition Sailor. Grindor Building Supply, 691 Riverside Drive, welcomes Don McMinn to their paint department. Don brings with him over 25 years of experience. And he invites all his former customers from W.J. Kennan Company to visit him at Rindor Building Supplies. Take time to check out their circular packed with super CIL paint specials. Quality CIL paints, starting as low as $10.99 for 4 liters. And during the month of October, Rindor Building Supplies is featuring their complete selection of wallpaper at 30% off. Stop in this week. Rindor Building Supplies, 691 Riverside Drive. is open Friday nights till 9, Saturdays till 5. The sports update being brought to you by Dixie's Family Restaurant, Bathurst, and Petit Rocher, where every Sunday you can purchase a 10-piece Econo box, which includes 10 golden pieces of chicken, a large fry, and a liter of Coke for only ten eighty plus tax. The Toronto Blue Jays will need some help from the Chicago White Sox if they hope to keep their slim pennant hopes alive. A victory by Boston over Chicago tonight will give the Red Sox the pennant in the American League East. A loss by the Jays to the Baltimore Orioles will also do Toronto in. The St. Louis Blues have assigned defensive Gordy Roberts to the Peoria of the International League. Roberts is an 11-year veteran who has been with the Blues for only over two seasons. Customs officials say the smuggling of anabolic steroids from the Soviet Union through Finland has increased significantly during the last few, few years. Sports officials plan to set up a telephone hotline for Finnish athletes in an attempt to stop the illegal trade. The sports update, a presentation of the Bathurst Bowlerama at Tedekush Hill, where you can enjoy midnight bowling every Friday night from 11.30 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. Get a strike on the stripe pin and win five silver dollars. A spear gets you a six-inch sub from the O'Hall Submarine. Here's Corey Hart, and I am by your side. Nelson at number three on the Billboard charts for this week, and I can't live without your love and affection. Hey, where I come from, nobody gets a free ride. You want some, you go out and work for it. Then I hear about the Midas free 49-point brake inspection. I wheel in there and say, have a look, 49 different ways. Turns out I needed a tiny adjustment. No charge, no problem. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you can still get a free ride. Just go to Midas to get it. Nobody tops the top guns. Nobody. Take time today for a free 49-point brake inspection by your Midas Top Guns at 914 St. Peter Avenue. Burger King is going to make you love them with their $1.69 Whopper Sale. 
Now's the time to enjoy the flame broil taste of 100% beef smothered with any of your favorite toppings for the special price of $1.69. That's right, $1.69. And if you think the $1.69 Whopper sale will make you love them, just wait until you see what's on the menu for later this month. Hurry, this special is only available until October 21st at participating Burger King locations. Big Brothers Big Sisters Association, Shilmore Region Incorporated, is having a financial campaign consisting of a lottery calendar for the year 1991. The calendar will have, during the year, 353 draws of $25, 10 draws for $100, 2 draws for $500, totaling 365 draws for $10,825. Calendars are sold for $20 each and are now available at Hilltop Convenience, 330 Raymond Avenue, One Stop Variety St. Anne, and Vic's Corner Grocery on Sunset Drive. Here's Sam Cook with the night away. Page 52 at CKBC, and here's Sting. If you love somebody, set them free. The City of Bathurst Community Services Department is offering a wide range of activities throughout the fall and winter months. Anyone interested in taking part in the programs can obtain registration forms at the Community Services Department behind City Hall. All registration must be done in person on a first-come, first-served basis. And for more information, call 548-0410. That number again is 548-0410. Well, that's it for the rock part of my show. And at 9 o'clock, right after news, 9.05 that is, it will be country all the way. And I'll be taking you right through to midnight. Right now, though, Bob Dylan and Subterranean Homesick Blues. I love that name. Here's the latest from Broadcast News. I'm Terry Pedwell. As the bell tolls, Germany is ringing in its new unity. About an hour ago, East and West Germany became one. A few moments later, Chancellor Helmut Kohl and other leaders joined Germans in singing their national anthem outside the Reichstag building in Berlin. About 78 million people are celebrating the new Germany. In Berlin, there are Dixieland jazz bands, organ grinders, and street musicians playing in the chilly fall air. Germany's celebration is reaching across the ocean into Canada as well. It's estimated two and a half million ethnic Germans live in this country. Prime Minister Mulroney calls German reunification a triumph of liberty. He sent German Chancellor Helmut Kohl a letter that calls reunification a tribute to the courage and perseverance of the German people. Prime Minister Mulroney says the Liberals should kick Senator Jacques Hébert out. Mulroney ripped into Hébert from the Commons, challenging him to take back what he said Sunday night to two television reporters. Hébert told the reporters the Prime Minister had bribed the Queen so he could stack the Senate with eight extra Conservatives. The Senator says it was a simple slip of the tongue, but he questions the Prime Minister's motives, not the Queen's. The Supreme Court of Canada may hear soon from the Liberals about the eight extra chairs in the Senate. The Liberals say the judges should rule whether the extra seats are constitutional, and if the government won't ask, the Liberals will. The Senate Liberals have ended their four-day boycott over the government's sales tax bill, but they're still trying to prevent the legislation from coming to a vote. Now that he's sworn in to the Supreme Court of Canada, Justice William Stevenson says he'll study French. He says he's doing it, in his words, not by command, but rather by choice. Stevenson appears to have been stung by media reports that he speaks only English. Seven of the High Court judges are bilingual. Bail hearings have begun for three Mohawk warriors who gave themselves up last Wednesday, ending their 11-week standoff in Oka. It was a busy day at the provincial courthouse in St. Jerome, north of Montreal. 24 natives appeared before a judge who set their bail hearings for Thursday. Lauren Thompson, the Mohawk advisor who escaped through army lines last Wednesday and later surrendered to police, faces two charges, including assault. His lawyer, Jeffrey Burrow, says he'll continue to be detained until his bail hearing because the Crown may file additional charges. We'll wait and see, depending on what other charges the Crown may decide to lay from now until then. Bail hearings were started for Ronald Cross, the warrior better known as Lasagna, and two other warriors. They'll continue in the morning under a publication ban. Peter Ray, 
St. Jerome. Montreal Trust says it's through with trying to sell real estate outside Quebec. It sold its real estate brokerage operations in Ontario, British Columbia and Winnipeg to a division of Canada Trust. It has not disclosed the price. Montreal Trust President John Thompson says his company wants to concentrate on building its market share in Quebec. The U.S. Navy has recovered a second key piece in the puzzle of an airliner accident last year that killed nine people. The U.S. National Transportation Safety Board says the second half of a cargo door has been recovered from the ocean floor off Hawaii. The other part of the door was found last week. The door blew off the United Airliner after takeoff from Honolulu, along with a large chunk of the fuselage. And Roman Catholic bishops from around the world are meeting in Rome to discuss ways of attracting more men to the priesthood. But the moderator of the Synod has told participants that relaxing the celibacy rules and ordaining women are not on the agenda. The moderator told the bishops there's no time for those issues, especially since the Pope has already ruled those changes out. This is Broadcast News. In sports, the Toronto Blue Jays need a miracle. If they hope to win the American League East, they have to beat Baltimore tonight, while first place Boston loses to Chicago. The Jays then need the same outcome tomorrow night to force a one-game playoff on Thursday. And looking at the scoreboard so far, Toronto and Baltimore are scoreless in the first inning. Chicago leads Boston 1-0 also in the first. Montreal plays its second-to-last game of the season tonight against St. Louis. Dwight Gooden goes for his 20th with the uh, win rather when the Mets play Pittsburgh. And Oakland's Bob Welsh will try to improve his record to 27-6 and as the A's play California. Former New York Mets executive Joe McLevin is a new general manager of the San Diego Padres. He'll get about $1.6 million over five years. McIvan replaces Jack McKinn, who was fired in July. That's the latest from Broadcast News. I'm Terry Pedwell. CKBC News time is 9.05. The forecast for the Bay of Shalor showers tonight, ending early tomorrow, becoming mainly sunny in the afternoon. Clouding over Thursday with showers developing low tonight near 0 degrees Celsius, giving frost highs tomorrow 9. Probability of precipitation is at 80% for tonight, 30 tomorrow, and 40 on Thursday. Barometric pressure outside our main street studios is at 101.0 and rising. Winds are light from the west, and the temperature is at 8 degrees Celsius. Here's a Ronnie Millsap, and I hate you. Sounds of George Jones on CKBC. He stopped loving her today. Before that, we had to Tim Taylor, Canadian Sounds there in Farewell Avenue. The sports update is brought to you by Dixie's Family Restaurant, Bathurst and Bootsy Roche, where every Sunday you can purchase a 10-piece econo box, which includes 10 golden pieces of chicken, a large fry, and a liter of Coke, for only ten eighty plus tax. Calbunga! How about that? The cool dudes, the renaissance reptiles, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Leopardo, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie now on video cassette. over 200 copies of this year's greatest movie now on sale at Variety Video, Friday. Also, with each turtle video purchased, you'll receive $15 worth of Greco pizza coupons and $5 worth of Variety Video bucks. That's $20 worth of savings and only available at Variety Video, the number one video superstore located on Teddy Gush Hill. At Variety Video, their hearts are in customer service. Cash. Cold. That's what I need. If you need cold, hard cash, get set to roll in the dough at the ever-popular Bohemian Nightclub. Wednesday at the Bow, it's the Roll in the Dough Contest. Watch as four lucky contestants roll around, attempting to get their share of $300 scattered on the Bow dance floor. The contestant who has the highest dollar amount wins. Whether it's Bow money or cold cash, it's a prize worth winning. So if you've been finding yourself singing this song lately, head by the Bow. Interested contestants for the Roll in the Dough Contest must register by 11 Wednesday. Hot Club, the bow, sizzling on St. Peter Avenue. Hi, I'm Don Cherry. I'm helping the Kidney Foundation of Canada with their annual peanut campaign. You know, you can help too when you buy bags of roasted peanuts. Boy, are they good. And they are perfect to give to those tricksters on Halloween. It's a perfect treat, and you can help improve the odds of life for a lot of kids for peanuts. Support the Kidney Foundation of Canada with your purchase of peanuts in this area. A public service message from Radio Atlantic, AM 136, CKBC. Canadian Sounds of Dick Dameron on CKBC and the Midnight Cowboy Blues. 
Tuesday evening country here at CKBC. I'm Dan Lacroix taking you right through to midnight. And then it's mid- at midnight, it's coast to coast, which we'll be taking you through to wee hours of this morning. The Shane Carter Trust Fund has been set up in Shane's name to cover expenses in Denver and to help cover the post-operative care. The Shane Carter Trust Fund is a recognized tax-deductible charity. Donations are to be deposited at the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, where official tax receipts will be issued, and it is a good cause. Here's the Lisa Broke up Canadian Sounds, number 10 on our charts, and Daddy Sing to Me.